Right, hi again guys. Um, so what we're going to do um, on this one is we're going to look at how grid references work. Okay, so grid references in regard to, um, especially on OS maps. Okay, so the map we're looking at here is a 1 to 25,000 scale. Okay, um, so what you're going to notice along the bottom is you're going to have all these numbers. So you've got 81, 82 and up to 83 here. And then on the way, on the way up, We've got 87, 88, 89, 90 going up that way. Okay. Now these are going to help us in reading our grid references. Okay. Now if you look carefully on maps, on the OS maps, you can see these thin blue lines all the way over them and they make a grid. Okay. So there's a grid over all OS maps like that, no matter what, what map they are throughout the UK. Okay. You've got these blue grid lines all over. OK, these are very important for taking your uh, grid references and for other things like orientating the map later on. Um, what we want to concentrate though is just reading a grid reference. OK, so now as you can say, you've got 81 there and 82 there. Um, how do we know um, where we're going to find something? OK, so the importance of, of a grid reference is going to be if you need to pass that information on to someone else or if someone needs to pass a location on to you and you need to find it okay so um just for an example what we're going to do today is we're going to say this here we have this quarry disused quarry here okay so what we'll do is we'll just put a little mark there and a little arrow going in just so you can see it for the purposes of the video okay there's just a little dot and we want to just mark that disused quarry we need to relay that information to someone else okay or put it in writing okay of where it is so, so we could find that on this map mark it take the grid reference and either over the phone or through a message or some other way we could get that information to someone else okay by passing on a grid reference okay so a grid reference is the best way for someone to find it OK, now working on grid references first, there is the um, the old saying which works really well, which is you go along the corridor and then up the stairs. OK, so in regards to your map, this is along the corridor. So we do them numbers first. OK, and then we go up the stairs. So we do these numbers second. OK, because you're going to have you'll see in a minute we'll have um, two sets of numbers from the grid reference. So now, first of all, we need to find what number this area is on, on this, on this number scale, okay? So what happens with grid references? Here you can see 8-2. Now we want, then what's going to happen is, you see these little rectangles here, the varying colours. These are going to give us a more uh, in-depth grid reference, okay? We can't just give someone 8-2 as a grid reference, okay? So what will happen is that will be 8-2-0, that little rectangle, 8 one 8-2-2, 8-2-3, 8-2-4, 8-2-5, 8-2-6, 8-2-7, 8-2-8, 8-2-9, then you're back to 8-3-0 again, okay? So these little rectangles here break break up into 10, 10 points so we can get a grid reference. OK, so if we work down, I'm, I'm not saying you draw on your maps like this, but I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to do it for the sake of the video. I'll get the edge of the compass here. And just get a line. So what you'd need to do is work down a line here. OK, so what we can do now is we can work out. So this is going to be 821, uh, 820, sorry, 821, 822 and 823. OK, now, as you can see, that's in the middle of them, but we don't want to go any more in depth at the moment. OK, so we'll just say that that is crossing the grid. 
excuse my writing, the map's bouncing up and down. Okay, so we've got the along the corridor bearing, it's 823. Okay, so now we need to find the up the stairs bearing uh, grid reference. Okay, so if we find our disused quarry, and we draw another line just using the compass. As I say, you can do this visually yourself. I'm just trying to do this so it makes it a bit clearer what we're doing on the video. Okay. So from here, we've got the 8, 8. Okay. So we know the first rectangle is 8, 8, 0, 8, 8, 1, 8, 8, 2, 8, 8, 3. Now this one has fallen right on the edge of the next one. So we'll say 8, 8, 4. Okay. So our grid reference for this, we've got along the corridor, we've got 823 and going up the stairs, we've got 884. OK, so we've got two sets of three numbers at the moment. OK, now if someone mentions to you a six figure grid reference, that's because they want six figures. OK, so we've took three figures from the along the corridor and we've took three figures from the up the stairs. So obviously if we put them together. We've got our six figures, which is what people will call a six figure grid reference. OK, now, obviously, there are hundreds of maps covering the UK. Um, so these eight, 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 two, three and eight, eight, four will will occur on many maps throughout the UK. So if you gave this grid reference, um, what I'll do, I'll write it down now. So we've got eight, we write eight, two, three down first because that's our along the corridor. Then we write eight, eight, four down because that's our upstairs. So that's our six figure grid reference. But as I was saying, these grid references will crop, that number will crop up on lots of other maps because there's hundreds of maps in the UK. So to counter that, each map, or each certain, not necessarily each map, but certain areas of the UK have a letters prefix okay so they have a set of two letters at the beginning as a prefix which you put in front of your grid reference now if you look down in the corner of this map you'll see an n and an s yeah so there's an n there written lightly in blue and then there's the s okay now that's the grid the bigger grid for this for this map okay so in front of our six figure grid reference we would write n and s okay so anywhere in the uk if you gave someone the grid reference now of n s eight two three eight eight four they could bring it in they could be sitting down in Cornwall. this is a scottish map they could be sitting down in cornwall and find this grid reference at the other end of the country okay just through them two letters and them six numbers they could identify you're talking about this disused quarry up in Scotland. OK, so remember, it's always along the corridor and up the stairs and that will get you to that point. And the same goes in reverse as well. If someone gives you this, this coordinate here, this grid reference here, you can get your map. And you can you can find that location. OK, they, they might say we meet will meet you there. You can look at that and you can find that location on a map. OK, very important in map reading. So I hope that's made some sense. Um, give it a try out on your own maps. Uh, if you found this video useful, helpful, you know, give us a like and give us a subscribe on YouTube for some more videos. OK, thanks.